Hi friends, good morning. Today we're gonna to read a book called Ants. And it is a National Geographic kids book and it's by Melissa Stewart. So I'm gonna flip the iPad over and read it to you. This book is Ants by Melissa Stewart. Here's the table of contents. Ants are all around. Did you Do you know how many ants live in the world? More than 10 quadrillion. I had to look that number up. It's also known as a million billion. That's a lot of ants. Ants live in fields and forests. They live under sidewalks too. Ants are everywhere. How do you say 10? Well, we know now. Quadrillion. It's 10 quadrillion. You say it like this. Quadrillion. It's helpful though. An ant is an active insect. Its tiny waist helps it, helps it bend and wriggle through tunnels. Its six strong legs creep and crawl. Its two large eyes see the world. Its super tough jaws munch and crunch. Its long feelers touch and tap. This is a wood ant. I liked how the author uses alliteration, creep and crawl, touch and tap. And over here, the author uses rhyming words, munch and crunch, because the endings are the same. Here's your joke. What is the biggest kind of ant? A giant. Okay. Ants at home. This is an army ant colony. One ant, two ants, three ants, four. See one ant and see lots more. What book does that make you think of? Yeah, me too. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Ants live in large groups. A group of ants is called a colony. Word bites. Colony. A group of ants that live together. Some colonies have millions of ants. An ant colony lives in a nest. Most ants build nests underground. An ant nest is full of tunnels. Each tunnel leads to a little room. Here's our bulldog ant inside a tunnel. Zoom in on him. Look at the details. He's got little spikes all over him. Underground ant nest with tunnels and then rooms. Cool. Some ants do not live underground. I guess the guinea ant nests in a tree. They live inside hollow thorns, between rocks, in rotting trees, in nests made of leaves. Zoom in on these guys. They almost look clear. Like they have ridges in them, like a leaf. Look at their eyes. Weaver ants. Hmm. What do you think they do? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. The ant man. Brian Fisher is a scientist. He looks for new kinds of ants. Some people call him the ant man. Dr. Fisher has found more than 800 new kinds of ants. He can't wait to even find more. Where do ants go to eat is the joke. Ready? To a restaurant. I don't think it's this funny. An ant's life. There's the queen, ant taking care of pupa. The queen is the biggest ant in a colony. She lays eggs all day long. When the eggs hatch, little larvae wriggle out. They look like worms. Aztec ants. Oh, there's another egg. Word bites. Larva. The second stage of life in many insects. Larvae spend most of their time eating and growing. Pupa. The, large, the third stage of life in many insects. Some ant pupa are surrounded by a cocoon. They eat and eat and eat. Larva turn into pupa. Pupa do not move. Pupa do not eat. After a few weeks, they turn into adult ants. We saw that with our mealworms and our silkworms, worker ants. Most of the ants in the colony are workers. All worker ants are female. Inside the nest, some worker ants dig new tunnels. Others take care of eggs, larvae, and pupa. Here's the bulldog ant up close. Look at those pinchers. Here are the worker ants. Many ants eat other insects. Ooh, here are the weaver ants. They do look like they're weaving. Outside the nest, some worker ants collect food. Others guard the nest. Ants with wings. This is a garden ant. Winged caterpillar, carpenter ants, not caterpillar ants. A few ants in the colony have wings. Some are females, some are males. Ants with wings fly out of the nest. They start new colonies. See if we can zoom in on him. Little things on his wings. I wonder what those are for. 
Superhero ants. Aqua ant. Aqua ant lives in Australia. She can swim, dive, and even live underwater. That's awesome. Mama Marvel. Mama Marvel is an African diver ant. She lays 50 million eggs a year. Ooh, that is a lot of work. Hulking Hercules. Hulking Hercules is a bulldog ant. She can lift more than 20 times her body weight. Look at her go. Amazing. The Big Biter. The Big Biter is a trap jaw ant. She has the fastest bite in the animal world. Biter can snap her jaw shut. Oops, sorry. At a speed of 145 miles per hour. Wow. That's impressive. What's for dinner? Most ants catch and eat other insects. Some ants eat dead animals. Leafcutter ants grow their own food. They have fungus gardens inside their nest. Hmm. Leafcutter ants and fungus garden. Zoom in on that. That is a fuzzy ant. Look at those eyes. They almost look like blackberries. Looks like he has a beard. He almost looks like he has a muzzle like my dog. Many ants take care of aphids. Aphids are small insects. They make sugary poop that ants like to eat. Mmm, yummy. How do you say aphid? It's like this, aphid. Word bites, fungus, a living thing that is not a plant or an animal. Mushrooms are a kind of fungus. Mm. It's actually a whole separate kingdom. I'll write a book about it. Here's the aphid and here's your joke. What did the leaf cutter ant say to the other leaf cutter ant? There's a fungus among us. Get it? Because they have fungus gardens. Army ants. Look at those things. Yikes. Looks like he has a giant mustache. Look at those. It almost looks like he has claws in addition to his tusks. I'm sure those aren't the right words. Army ants hunt for food every day. The colony looks like a moving, munching carpet. Army ants sting and bite everything in their path. They can kill insects, spiders, lizards, and baby birds. An army ant colony can be as wide as a street, can be lang longer than a football field. Fire ant. Army ants are not the only ants that sting and eat animals. Fire ants have poison that they inject into other insects, animals, and even people. It leaves a burning feeling. That is how fire ants got their name. There are more than 280 different kinds of fire ants. Huh? Let's zoom in. Look at that. He looks all smooth. He doesn't look very fuzzy. Interesting. Look at, he almost looks like he has toes on his back leg. Hooray for ants. Ants are an important part of our world. They are food for other animals. Birds, frogs, and spiders eat ants. So do monkeys and aardvarks. As ants dig tunnels, they mix the dirt. Plants grow better in the dirt with ants. Hmm. Oh, there's a bird eating an ant. Leafcutter ants dig up a lot of dirt when they build the nest. Scientists weighed the dirt one colony dug up. The dirt weighed as much as six elephants. That's impressive. Why did the aardvark jump for joy? He had ants in his pants. I just like to say the word aardvark. That's a funny word. Here's our vocabulary, our glossary in the back. Colony, a group of ants that lives together. Fungus, a living thing that is not a plant or an animal. Larva, the second stage of the life of many insects. We saw that with our mealworms and our silkworms and also the pupa, the third stage of life of many insects. Although our silkworms went into a cocoon and there are pupa inside the cocoon. It's very confusing. I hope you enjoyed the book, Ants. Now I want you to think about what was the author's purpose? Was it to persuade, to convince you of something? Was it to inform, to give you facts and details? Or was it to entertain? Remember the primary reason. All books are going to be entertaining. Otherwise, no one will want to read them. Just a thought, think about it, and I can't wait to hear your responses and the reasons why. Thanks for listening.